almost time to write. Almost. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting better with my timing. Also, hi, hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Good evening. How many how many more times can I say hello before I get sick of it? Mm. Buenas uh, no no noches. No, noches is a night or the evening. I don't actually know. Buenas dias? I don't know. I don't know Spanish. <laughs> how are you doing today? We are going to play yet another game. Another game made by the same creator as the one on Sunday. This is uh, one. Uh, it's a little newer than the other one. Also, this is the switch port. What? That is turning off on me. Damn. This is the switch port of the game. That only came out like, I don't know, this week, last week. It costs like nine bucks. Um, because Lai is actually compromised of three games. And for the Switch port, they made it so because the original game is like four to three, they added a little bit more to the background and stuff, so and it fits the resolution I have on right now. Which is frankly the only reason I thought to myself, hmm, you know what? I'm I'm gonna get it again on Switch because I could have just replayed it on on PC. I own it on on Steam, but like. This maybe looks a little nicer, a little newer, even though it's still technically the same game as back when it originally released. Um, I hope the sound is fine. It's once again a really loud game with the music box style. I don't, I, I don't understand why it's so loud all the time. That's just how it is. Also, why? Are you kidding me? Hello. Pretty exhausted after walking three kilometers in the sun twice. Ooh, ah. <laughs> why did you do that? And why am I not moving again? Oh, am I? Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. That's why I'm not moving. What is going on? Can I? Can I please <laughs> stream once where everything is fine again? It takes ah yes mm, I'm slow slowly slowly the animation is catching up with me <laughs> you didn't check if you can buy bus tickets in the bus again oh I once I once forgot my ticket and I didn't have money with me so I didn't really want to drive with the bus on the off chance that I I'd have to show my ticket, you know. Whoa, 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 wow, wow. Look at that. I'm speed. <laughs> um, on the off chance that I, uh, I'd get, you know, I'd have to show my ticket. I walked home the entire 20 kilometers or something on a very sweltering hot day. That was a horrible day. At some point, there were there's only like two bus stops between where I originally ha would have taken the bus and where I had to go. By the time I reached the one in the middle, that the next bus came. You know, it comes every hour. So by the time I had reached that one bus stop, the next one were, <laughs> was arriving, and the the driver just looked at me really awkwardly because I had just reached the stop and. Normally people don't really get in at that stop. They only get out. So he didn't even stop. He saw me, drove by, just looked at me very confused, thinking, oh fuck, maybe maybe they would have wanted to get on the bus, so I had to keep walking. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have money anyway. With me, that was a horrible day. <laughs> okay, am I, is everything good now? Am I allowed to play my game? Looks good. Okay. <laughs> oh, looks good. Okay. 
Um, this one is not horror. I mean, the other one wasn't that spooky either, but this one is not horror. This one is a mystery game, actually. It's a good evening. How are you? There's this is part one. There's part two after you clear the first one, and part three after you clear the other. Uh, part two after you clear. No, part three after you clear the second. Blah. There we go. <laughs> You're good. I'm also good. That's nice. I'm a little tired, but that's okay. I'm always tired. Yes, we want to play this episode. This is new. The little animation, the loading screen. Because this is what the game originally looked like without the fancy border. Um, but just this new game that allowed and end stuff. This is what it originally looked like on PC. Long ago in a small town there lived a family of vampires. They were very kind souls and got along well with the humans there. But one dark night, one of these kind vampires attacked a human in town. Before anyone knew it, they had already sucked out all of the human's blood. The news that they had attacked a human was soon revealed to the others. The vampire was executed and the town's people lived happily ever after. Are vampires real? Are they bad guys? Why am I not moving? I'm moving now. <laughs> Woo! I'm moving. No, for real though. Why am I? <sighs> One. One stream. One stream where everything works well. That's all I wish for. Listen, listen, I have a big stream plan for Saturday. I do not want it to be this fucked. <sighs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> if Saturday is this scuffed, I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really gonna cry. <laughs> uh, vampires did exist, but not anymore. And if they were bad, I wouldn't know. In fact, I even doubt this vampire attacked the victim willingly. It's getting late, you should get to bed. Why can't we all sleep together? If you do, the wolf will come, so lock the door and fall asleep quickly. If you stay up too late, you won't be able to get to sleep at all. Okay, good night, father. Ooh, wolves and vampires. So, how much more do we have to walk? Hey, Papa, are you listening? You are, right? Should I run? We're almost there. Just be quiet and walk. I'm not run. I'm Ify. And stop calling me that. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, you mean, Papa. Come on, you're always calling yourself different names. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. Sure, p big right? That'll be a hundred thousand G. Mm. Big dummy! <laughs> Ooh, it's animated. See, we're here. And remember, call me Leo here. Eh, got it. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. V. Vermilion. It says Vermilion Town. Ooh, I'm getting cleverer by the day. As long as you don't forget it right away. <laughs> sure. Let's go to Vermilion Town. So, what are we doing now? There's an informant here, so we're gonna sell the info we got at the last town. And this town seems to have quite a bit to gleam itself, so we'll look into that. And then go sell that info? Yeah. Also, you shut your trap. What? Okay. Right. First, a place to stay. Let's try and find some people. 
Dee 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 dee. Ha! Oh, look at that! The outside background changes as well. That's cool. Hi. Hmm. Huh? Why are you here? What's the matter to you? Why are you here? Just resting my feathers. I'm tired. I'll be fishing for info later. All right. If you find anything out about the town's legend, tell me about it, please. You better pay up for it. You take me for. <laughs> Do, do we know you? That's a little... It's a little awkward to move on the Switch controller. The shelves are messily packed with things. Fair. I think I'm just gonna use the... Uh, not the Joy-Con, but the... What's it called? The other thing. <laughs> the other thing. <laughs> that you can move with. Anything in here? Something here. Got the right and I have a small macaron. Ooh! Oh! Equip. Ah! Ah! We can equip lies. Okay, interesting. What can I give you? A flavor you've never tasted. This one gives more attack. But nothing else. Oh, interesting. I didn't... Oh, I guess we actually do stuff here. I guess we're not just... Grid movement with a stick is not so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it's, it's very hard to go uh, to a specific thing. Like, this is way nicer than... <laughs> Alright, let's just check out all the rooms, I guess. Oh. Nothing's inside. Okay. I mean, could have been. Lots of houses in this. Nothing's inside. Well, it. One of them is gonna have something. I know it. Well, technically, we already found the one that does have something. No? Hello! Good evening! How are you? Welcome! Okay, what's this one? Oh! Hi. Hi. Are you... Are you a cat? Sir, are you aware that you are a cat? Brother, I'm just chilling in the library. Leave me the fuck alone. Hi! You look like someone I have to talk to. Hmm. Harry, wore a green jacket before, had black hair. Ah, took me a bit to realize. Change your whole appearance again, huh? But a scar on your cheek never changes, does Hmm? Who's the kid? I'll tell you later. You know where the residents of this place are? Oh, I need a place to stay? Talk to the guy at a largish house in the northeast. Think the people there are the only real residents? Should lend you a place easy. I see. Thanks. I'll be back later. Bye now. You too, kid. Let's go before she makes us any more of a bother. There's something here. Got big lion dragon or Ooh! Sorry, I'll be taking that. Big lion? Ah. I'll give us more defense. But less attack. And if I do it as a second weapon, it only gives more defense. What about you? You don't have a second... Oh, wait. I can only give you this one. Oh, I see. Well, then let's use it as a second thingy so we have more defense. Character art is nice. It really is. How do we gain levels? We haven't done anything yet. Huh? The fuck? We haven't done anything. <laughs> I mean, I have to... Oh. People. Anything in here? Nothing's inside. That's fair. What the fuck are you? I'm gonna check out every single room. Not like there's anyone here. Hi, what What are you? Snab. What? Lie. Oi. Oh. 
Ow. Ow. Ah. Oh, we actually fight stuff in this game? Boom. Boom. Ha. Okay, that's fun. Cool. What was game that doesn't sell level one just because? Interesting. We, we we actually fight stuff in this game. What the hell? Legendary knife and legendary cake. Oh, is that good? Is that good? <gasps> oh hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh, we can only do one of them. Okay, that's fair. What if I give you the legendary cake? Ooh! Oh, you can do two things. Interesting. A legendary knife and a legendary cake. In the first town. The first thing we, we done. Okay. Hi, do I need to talk to you? Looks like it. Oh. Hello, my name's Leo. I'd like to ask you something. Oh yes, that's perfectly fine. Is there anywhere in town where we could stay? I've got food for us, so a place is all I need. Travelers? Well, there's a place, yes. My sister and I are the only current residents of this town, you see. You can stay anywhere but this house and library at no cost, don't worry. Right, thanks for your help. But few people are running out houses, so... Well... I know, the house with the crates outside was just sorted, so it should be usable right away. Just, if you're staying a few days, don't go out late at night. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, what I mean is... There's a vicious wolf that goes around at night attacking people. Right, I see. Take care of yourself. Alright, if you need anything, I'll usually be here at home. Oh yes, introductions. I'm Keith. Keith Rickfire. Glad to meet you. Keith, is it? Sorry to bother you. Thanks again. Well, I'll be seeing you. A wolf? That's scary. So scary. And you're not a traveler, Papa. You're not Leo either, liar. I'm Leo here. Just Leo. Got it, Runt. Yeah. D don't yell at me. Okay, got it. Leo. Good. Got a place to crash, so let's go to the informant. Alright, sure. Um, like, I, I, there's there's equipment you can find in, in each of the parts. So, it's not, it's not really a secret secret. It's just in every single part you can find these. The serrated knife and the big lion dragon aura and the legendary weapons, yeah. But for every single part they exist. There's like three types. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, I haven't actually checked out Keith's house. Hi! The whole town is red, even at night. I remember my father told me that's where the name came from. He's not with us anymore. Oh. Well, sorry, sorry for your loss. Can I check out these... Ooh rooms a thick book all oh, right that's also a book is that why i cannot walk over it it's off kilter yeah just a bit what oh oh yeah okay sure some sort of decoration can i join i have a giant spoon can i join <laughs> what's this Oh, sounds like it's locked. <laughs> Slightly weird. It's not a kitchen. It's a very weird kitchen, not gonna lie. Seasoning is other things. It's been a while. Hello! How are you? Oh! Hi. Hi. Not supposed to talk to people. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, valid. Loads of frilly clothes. You, you just sit there looking pretty. What are these things? Are those plushies? Oh, a stuffed rabbit. That's a rabbit? Ah, oh, it's a rabbit. Okay, nothing's inside. There's candy here. <gasps> Sorry, I'll be borrowing your candy, thanks. <laughs> Hmm. Uh. Wait. 
You, 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 you. Got a room? Yeah, now let's get to business. Hey, right, I've been looking forward to this. You have? Hmm, so the blueprint really does exist. Yeah, couldn't capture it, but good enough, right? And you brought a feather. That and the info is enough for me. Here's your reward. Such a time without sleeping. Aww. <laughs> Did you not, not get enough you know, sleep? Excuse me. <laughs> so I heard you came upon a dragon egg, is that true? Yeah, about that. Oh. Huh? Hmm? Bless you, thank you. <laughs> she hatched from the egg. I still don't get it either. You serious? Really, for real? Uh -huh. Hee. Watch it, mister. Gotta be nice to girls, okay? Aww! Like this! Yeah! So what kind of dragon is she? Thunder, Amoba. She eats lies. That's her diet. And she can breathe fire, kinda. It'd be faster to show you. Hey, Rantling. That's Ify to you. Well, you see, Ify, me and him are brother and sister. No way! Yep, I lied. Oh, and now what? She gets physical. Ah! Ooh, we fight it. Okay. Smack. Oh! How dare you attack me first. 90 XP and 22 gold. If he's level increased by one! I see, I see. That was faster to show me. Never heard of and definitely never seen a dragon like this before. Huh, really? So not even you? That's about it for now. I'm exhausted from walking. Gotcha! If it's okay but you, I'd pay a pretty penny for this kid. <gasps> Run's not for sale. I'll sell you info on her, maybe. Greedy, greedy. But you picked this town to do business in anyway. It's so inconvenient to reach, and I don't think the value of the info is worth it. Oh, well, if the vampire legend is true, it'd be worth my time, yes? Vampires. <laughs> don't go chasing fairy tales. Says the guy who had a girl hatch from an egg. A dragon egg, right? I'd sooner consider dragons of fairy tales myself. I'm told the bloodline ended a long time ago, but I'm sure I'm right. Says who? Says my god. Well, if anything comes up, I'll have with what I can. At a price, of course. Right, see ya. Alright. Can you sell dragons? Uh, well, they're rare, they got sturdy bodies, so they could fetch a good price. Mainly as slaves. Slaves. Anyways, look into it yourself if you wanna know. I've got things to do, you can go off and play. Just don't leave the town, don't go anywhere strange, and here's a snack for later. Okay, hooray! Snack! <gasps> oh, am I on my own now? I am! Can I... Hi, I'm on my own now. Hmm? Lost your energy? I'm hungry. The stories for this game are very good, I like the atmosphere. Absolutely! Miva Shiva ga um, Miva Shiva's games are really pretty. I love the pixel art. I'm hungry. I see. Okay, I'll give you cookies. Thanks! Alright, but only if you win this game with me. Game? I've got a ball here. You just gotta guess which hand I've got it in. Got it! Here goes. Oh! Ha! Huh. Which one? Eh, you got me. You sneaky lady! Well, better than the guy you're always with, right? Yeah! Honest, I like that. Here's your prize. Let's play again sometime. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Scored ourselves some candy. Nice. Um. Wait, which one? Which one is the the? This is the house we get right now, is it? Let's see. Leo's clothes, my clothes, uh, and some pennies. Hey, Fanny! What am I even doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sure, okay. <laughs> that's. That's nice. That's that's very nice. Hi! I'm on my own this time. Who are you? Hmm? All alone now? If he's alone now. 
Oh, well, want to talk with me for a bit? Shall I tell the story of the butterfly whose flapping caused a tornado? Or perhaps the story of the dreaming illness? For money, right? Then no thanks. You thought you were, hmm? Alright, if you're bored, would you call my partner here for me? He should be in the library, his name is Levin, recognizable by being a cat. Okay. Please and thank you. Sh sure. I, I, I saw a cat earlier, yes. A cat. 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 Okay. Yeah, cat. Oh. Hi. Hmm? Um, are you Mr. Levin? Yes, then. Oh, well, I uh don't actually know her name, huh? The lady with cra the crazy hair goes tsh and bunch call for you. Ah, you mean Rosalie. Thank you very much. Excuse me. That's settled then, I guess. Favor complete! Okay, what's next? Hi. What, you wanna play or something? Sure. Yeah, let's play! Alright then, let's play word chains, you start. R is for relay. Yammer. R is for roulette. Entertainer. Uh, uh, R is for... It's for... Ruler! Register. Uh, I don't know anymore. Then we're done here. See ya. You're no fun! <laughs> oh god. Only only ending in words that... Uh, only using words that end with an R. So you... You... <laughs> oh. That's... That's mean. Yo! You good? I'm on my own now. Oh, on your own now. Been looking, just want to say your model is very cute and this is a cool film. Oh, thank you! Welcome to the stream, hope you're having fun. <laughs> Doesn't have much in the way of places to play, so it must be boring for a child. If he's not a child, so I'm not bored. Is that right? Pardon me. Uh, oh my. Would you like something to eat? I like making sweets, so I could whip something up. Yeah, you love sweets. Oh, they won't make me full though. Are you of a race that only eats something in particular? Yeah, hey mister, tell a lie for me. A lie? I was cleaning until just now. After that I did some reading. And I finished making dinner a little while ago. Woo! What are these? Uh, now I punch them. Which one's a lie? Uh, mm, which is it? Wait, isn't it all of them? They all have different colored eyes. Let's, let's see. I finished making dinner. Uh, lie. I guess. I don't know. I'll, I'll just attack them. Ow! <laughs> Yay! Oh! Huh, I guess that one was a lie. Oh! Nom, 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 nom. So cute. So this is what you call eating a lie. Yeah, right? Hmm, I never knew of such a race. Our race has a special diet too, but lies? That's surprising. Does your family ever leave the town, mister? Ah, uh, no. There are many roads impassable by vehicles, so it's inconvenient even getting there. Inconvenient. Yes, you're tired from your trip too, I suppose? Yeah. And the town being emptied is very boring as well. I'm rather frail, and my sister's a younger and frailer girl still. Oh, ha, huh. I feel bad for you guys. Bad? Well, there's all these lands and towns all over the world. You haven't seen it all, but it's all different and all great. The world's really huge. If you say so, but I'm satisfied with the small world with my dear sister. Still, I thank you kindly for the conversation. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> Hello! Oh, you wanna be cut joke? <clears throat> Thank you, Duolingo. Pega, <laughs> pega. Duolingo, right on time. Right on time. Hi, would you also tell a lie for me? I just want someone to talk with for a little bit. Okay. Uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, Rachel. I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Effie. Is that red man who was with you your brother? Nah, Leo's my papa. Your father? 
I don't have a father anymore. Just my brother. Huh? Really? Darling, you want to be Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, when we were little, he just collapsed one day and the next day he was gone. Are you lonely without your dad? It's fine. My brother's here. He's really nice. Oh, but... What? One time he did strangle me. He looked really sad. Eh? Leo uh, yells at me, sure, but he's never strangled me. Oh, I see. Maybe you were different then. We're different race from the townspeople, that's why everyone went away. Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it, but if you don't like something, you should just say no. Or else nobody will know. No. No! No. Once more! No! You got it! <laughs> Thanks, it was fun talking with you. Yeah, you talked a bunch, Rachel. But you should play outside sometimes too. Let's play again later. No! <laughs> I lied. Yeah, let's play. Ah, oh, look at that. She lied and there's a lie there. No, no! I wonder if I should eat this. Sure. Why not? We, we need the EXP. Ow! Yay! Oh, we learned fire? Ooh! Does that mean we can now... Wait. Ah. I cannot... Hmm. I'll have to see in the next fight fight if I can use fire. Alright. Let's see what else there is. Uh, where else am I supposed to... Wait, I'm not... I'm technically not allowed to go outside, right? No. I guess I am allowed to go outside. Hi, can I... <gasps> <laughs> okay, sure, let's fight. Try me. Ha! <laughs> Come on. I need the XP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't fight that one. Aha! How much do I need? Come on. <laughs> you. No, not the sign. I want to fight the moth. Fight me! Fight me! Why can't I not fight them anymore? Ah, there we go. Aha! Look at that. Learn Dragon Eye. I'm level 4 now. I want to be strong. I wonder if there's a level... Ca <laughs> level cap or something. You probably don't even need to actually level in a game like this. It's like, okay, it's a funny little pixel game. Why do you need to level up? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try it until I get to level five. That looks like a good... Uh, good place to be i mean with the legendary equipment we kill everything anyway i feel <laughs> ah there we go one more fight for good measure breathe fire hold to increase strength for all or protect with burning eyes oh interesting we can actually breathe fire with a real dragon Okay, um, home, home, is this home? <laughs> Please enter the door, ah, hi, had fun. Yeah, I, I slaughtered a bunch of poor moths. <laughs> All right, now give me the usual, tell me everything that happened and what you heard from people. Okay. That's it? Yep, that's all for now. I see, that lets credit to the theory of them being descendants of vampires. Then. A race that thrives on people's blood. 
They eat blood or drink it? Suck. They attack people and suck out every last drop. They die! Yes, yes they do. These days vampire bloodlines have weakened such that they don't drink blood anymore, but it's also possible that nature is just lying dormant. In any case, the info's too shaky to say anything yet. Mm. Sleepy. I'm going to bed. You should too. Don't go doing anything weird. Hey, Leo. Hmm? Don't grab my sleeves just cause they're long. Oh, he actually changed his clothes! Comfy. Why do you think I eat lies anyway? If I knew that, you'd have a mountain of sweets in front of you by now. Really? Well, really. Well, why am I the only one who can eat lies? You and other people can't. Sleepy. Yeah, well, I'm not sure, but it's a fantastic power like nobody else's. See, if he, even if you mean to tell lies, they end up haunting you. And lies that come out of guilt and regret and all, they get bigger. Then it gets too much to handle and lies completely overtake you. And then just total darkness. But if you eat people's lies before that happens, you can keep them from that fate. So I think it's a wonderful power. I see. Hey, <laughs> so I'm pretty amazing. Oh yes, so very amazing. But when you lie, Leo monsters don't appear like with other people. Listen, Evie, everything I say is 100% true. Even if I were lying, if a lie is never found out, it's not really a lie. Oh, it's for two minutes. Okay, I shall do that. From now until 30. Okay, I'm off to bed. Huh? But night only just started. Go to bed now. Okay. But I'm not even sleepy. Let's go have fun. Oh, God. I already do her voice really high, so doing her voice in in, in Ufu is just wah 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 wah. Wah 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 wah. Anyway, we're gonna go get a bad ending now. <laughs> because I can. We're not supposed to go out, right? In at night. We're not supposed to go out. <laughs> Let's go out. Get a bad ending. Hi. No? What? I want a bad ending! Oh, never mind. I, I forgot to do something first. Excuse me. I want to get a bad ending. Hi! Hmm? Hey, Ify. Where's the white haired guy? Sleep! Oh, that's early. Hey, Ify, do you still remember when you were born? Yeah, um. I thought things were bright, then I saw a uh, Leo, and his eyes got all white. And then I got a bath towel. I see, I see. Well, do you know why you eat lice? Hmm, that I don't know. Hmm. That's nice, very interesting. He's quite a lie, so you're never short of food, are you? Uh, when someone lies, I can smell it out. But I can't eat it until I know for sure it's a lie. If I eat a truth, it tastes gross. But Leo doesn't smell of lies, and I can't tell what's a truth or a lie. It sucks. And he even keeps his truth to a minimum. Hmm, a real enigma he is. So you can't eat clever lies, and if someone knows it's a lie, or if the liar themselves. Yeah, I'm really mysterious too. Hey, about those hard fruits? What are those? Oh, you mean those love berries? The yellow ones are sweet, but the red are a little sour. Also, they're pretty soft, so they go splat if you throw them at people. Get some all sticky. Myself, I throw them into the eyes of my foes to daze them. Aren't they fool? Ah, so many mysteries. I've been developing a real interest you in you, Evie. Evie. Easy, I won't do anything. Alright, there's still a little something I need to check. And look at that time, you should get back too. Didn't that guy tell you not to go out at night? What, the wolf thing? Can't be that scary. I've been a bears before. Bears? Are you just a wee little girl yet, Ify? Go back and get some rest. I'm strong too! Rawr! Rawr! Rawr, she says! Rawr, she says! Uh, huh, sweet, good night. Head straight home now, here. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Boy boy. Got dark, huh? I should go straight back. Man, I got a bad feeling. Ha! <laughs> Shit! I wonder why. Definitely not because I'm planning on having you go uh get a bad ending, right? Right? No way, we're going straight back home. Dun 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 dun. Somebody's there. Yup. Yeah. Dead. Bad end. <laughs> it's a pretty unspectacular and sudden bad end. But it sure exists. This is what you get. 
<laughs> if you don't go straight home. When people tell you to go straight home. <laughs> All right, let's let's go sleep. How do I sleep? I want to go. Ah, there we go. Sleep. Okay. Hmm? Hey, that screamed just now. Hmm, let's check it out. Stay right behind me. Don't wander off. Alright. Yo, it's just them, Noah! Holy shit! That is them, Noah! Dun dun! Dun, dun, dun. No good, she's gone. Really? Really. Hey, she's wounded on her neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Looks like bite marks. Well, what to do here? Off to tell the winged informant, I suppose. What are we gonna do? We'll give them a call, much as I hate to see him. It's a job to deal with this kind of thing, after all. Well, I guess her experience fighting bears did not help with whatever she fought here. Can't believe they noticed me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Wait, where was the she is down here in this house, right? Hi. Something happened. Someone died. Probably murder. Probably. We're not sure. <laughs> Maybe. Huh? What's the informant in the head? Let me a phone so I can call you know who. I'll make the call. They'll be here tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place, lock the door and stay inside. Glad you understand. Won't be asking for any money later, right? You're so rude. I just don't want to lend you anything important to my work. I wouldn't stand for it if you sneakily made up with the person in front of his phone. You trust me that little. Guess it could be murder, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be. What are we gonna do about her? Just gonna have to leave her until they arrive. Yes, if she was indeed murdered, we wouldn't want to make any missteps on a crime scene, yes? You're leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts. Still, though, it's hard to believe that Hatter was done in. Was she rather strong? She could also go on a quick if somebody got behind her. Or would she? Is that what happened when you first met? Still not enough info. We'll gather more tomorrow. Oh, and just at a glance, it looked like there were bite marks on the neck. So you think this town's vampire story? Still think it's up in the air as to whether that's true. Hmm, how puzzling. Maybe she's asleep. You don't know. You're not cops, right? I mean, the ground only spelled out dead. Who knows? Maybe she's just sleeping outside. Let's take it over carefully tomorrow. Good idea. All right, see you. Take care. Do you have anything to say? So I see, another one. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Can I, am I allowed to go back to sleep now? Can you get to sleep? I don't know. If you really can't fall asleep, you can sleep over here. <gasps> so if you're actually that dejected, good night. Good night. Oh, I would have loved to share a bed. Maybe it was cranberry just not blood, right? That informant with the hat just stopped moving, and I'd only just been talking with her. Believing it to sleep tonight, I might not. Ow! Finally, we're leaving. Get ready. I'm sleepy. <gasps> Look at that! What a cute outfit. <laughs> I've got more where that come from. Don't slap me awake. I get up, okay? <laughs> Jesus. I'm up. Morning. Good, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Meow. Whoa! Hi! So why are you getting slapped by that guy? I don't know. He's like, wake up! Long time no see. Yeah, to be expected though. He was around when these things happen. A child. 
Boom! A child! <laughs> hey, let me make a skate. She's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with. Yo. You again. I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And a child is. she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping. Where does it end with you? A dragon. She had from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud ex incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? Calm down a bit, Brad. But... As you wish. Indeed, she does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I'm Neil Macefield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brad. Brad. Sounds like bread when I say it. Of course the guy is called Brad. Yeah. <laughs> he and I are both dragons, same as you. I've never met any other dragons before. Hey, I'm Athena, call me Ify. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught, come to us for anything. Captain! Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Hmm, thanks. So long then. So, those guys are dragons too? First time you've met them, huh? Well, I've been avoiding them as much as I can. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to go get it info. You can go play, I guess. Okay. You know how to drill? Don't wander off too far. I know. Alright, I go to see her first. Oh, I! I get to do stuff now. Okay, I'm, I'm just go not gonna bother with the faceless people. Hi, did you see anything weird happen? No, hold up. Ho no, wait, I'm, I'm not supposed to go see Keith. I'm supposed to go. To Rosalie. Blah, 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 blah. Hi. So the police are here now. Morning, Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here. So any new info? Right, I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. Oh, please do. This is an old story. There was a family of vampires who lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls, yet there came to be many cases of missing townspeople. But then one day, those who had gone missing were found in the family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was that this town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed for being horrifying vampires. But it seems one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town. And they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, de decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were ripped right out. And that's right, this was written in a book, a diary perhaps, by someone named Jill Rigfire. Seriously, that's the same as what I found. <sighs> in short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right, I'll go check with them. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Yeah, what? My payment. I already knew all that stuff. W what? You should have told me that first. Here. Yeah. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told you that, I'm asking you why you're showing me this. What's this? Does an informant like you really not know about those cookies? Huh? Well, huh. Can't believe there'll be anyone who doesn't. I know! Of course I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes! Only one baked every two months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, yes! Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will. Counting on you if you find any new info. Yes, thank you. Mm, yeah, one singular cookie baked every two months. Mm -hmm. No one to lose, where will they play? I will play everywhere. I think your mistress should maybe be re-educated starting with the basics. I must admit on numerous occasions that the mistress is a bit slow on the uptake, but as such I do get to see some amusing things. As long as I get my due pay, I have no real qualms. Not a bad attitude. True that. As long as I get paid, I can... I can tolerate a lot of things. <laughs> okay, hi! Are you mayhaps a vampire? Seems someone was attacked. Even if they may insisting they refrain from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh, and who are you to... I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So this makes you a detective? Yeah. 
Sorry I had to hide it. Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book. Then I nodded off. After that I was woken by a person's scream. Then I locked the front door. Since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? <laughs> well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend. But it was long ago and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine. Next, his sister. Yo! Hello. Mind if you talk for... No. Hmm? No! I see. <laughs> she learned she learned to say no and she's just immediately using it. Good for you. I forgot her name, but good for you. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They changed it a lot. Wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I go ask him some things too. Alright, let's check it out then. Yo! Oh! Oh, you took her down, I guess. What do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope? Yeah. As you saw yourself, the victim, Carol Delada, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds. But not much bleeding, it seems. Not much blood at all, in fact. So then what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice! It actually is juice? Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably love berry. You licked it. What's the fastest way? Captain, might I recommend not licking everything you see? Even if it were poison, I would. Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf, huh? We've only looked a little, but we haven't found one yet. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Ha! Huh, it's actually juice! <laughs> that's funny. Maybe we should fish around for a little more info. I bet Ify will bring in something herself. Hmm, will she? Found another! More people, more lies, so weird. And I got more cookies, let's beat this one up. Oh, hell yeah! Boom! <laughs> Tasty, not very big though. Hmm, what now? Maybe I'll read a book? Yeah, okay, I do gotta practice my reading. No, first you fight. I'm doing my job! No, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not doing your job. <laughs> are there any more lies in town? Oh, yes, there are. I'm gonna beat up every lie I see. I beat up three guys yesterday. No. Doubt. I beat up at least three lies yesterday. I fully investigated here. Ah, it's all the police people. You should become a detective. Yeah, you should. There's not enough to go around. No. That's not true. <laughs> Alright. Anyone else? No? No more lies? Okay. You want to read a book? Let's go to the library then. Library sounds like a good idea, right? Should have some books. Let's say va um va va vampire. That's not it. Vampire. Va vam vampur. I give up, can't read it at all. Huh? A photo? Seems kinda old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something's on the back. Yeah, I can't read it though. Is it okay if I take this? Papa says that when you get your hands on something, it's yours, so I'm taking it. That's. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I'm out of books, let's go somewhere else. Wow. Okay. That's. You got bored of the books real quickly. Hey! How are you? Ify. Yoohoo! Not gonna play outside? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room. Because my brother tells me not to. Thank you so much for the poster check! Just imagine you're bursting into a room ready to throw hands while yelling, You bitch is lying in here! <laughs> Some lies! Yo! 
You only want lying in here. Come out. <laughs> oh, well, it's not then. Okay. So you've never left, left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? I don't know, but my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this! It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's me and my brother. Oh! Hmm, it's kind of faded, but now that you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah. It's my name and brother's. The other one is... Our father? Maybe? It says Jill. So she can read. Nice! My brother said there weren't even any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah, he never tells me anything. It's really fun to get to talk with you, Ify. Whenever anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we buds. Yeah! That's right, there's been lots of gossiping outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone, uh, died last night. I see. Again. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, oh okay. But would you like to go to sleep then? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm sleepy. Okay. Can I talk to you? On a stroll? Yep. I see. Don't want off too far, please. Sure. Mm -hmm. Ah, ha! Ah, hello. Oh, wow, that is a big sword. Mm. It's you, on your own now. Yep. I see. Has he done anything to you? Huh? Why do you ask? People and dragons working together is a very rare occurrence. Mm, but how much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Oh. Oh, he's pretty. <laughs> Horns and wings. Are you able to put these out freely? Well, I can, but it wears me out and they're really wonky shape. So still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but these are the symbols of being a dragon. Stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat it all, I don't mind. Mmm, your cup guys have really good cake. Cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> Cupcake! <laughs> there are many different kinds of dragons. I can't recall ever seeing two who are like. And you're. I eat lice. I can taste flavor, but if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. I wonder why. Another unique kind of dragon, then. It seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We're trying to find out what that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yeah, there are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Custody. Hmm? Alright, we're protecting them. Protecting? As I've said before, it's very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one which cooperates with people, but I don't much trust humans. From what we know, there's a good chance of dragon eggs appearing before humans, but then they're sold as attractions or slaves and many have been stolen. Slaves. Attractions. Being forced to walk for others and not being treated well. Does I give you a picture? When I was born too, I was locked in a cage for show. Mm. But the captain saved me, and after that he led me on the force. We also walked to rescue dragons like Brad, who were being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Mm, because they're rare? Because, because they're rare? That's a typo! We're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you address people and works with them. Though I certainly don't consider him a person, that's at all worth trusting. Brad. Still, if you believe in him, in Theobald Leonhardt, we won't interfere. But I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So, try not to get bullied? Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinarily rather long-lived. So it's very likely he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. So, if you should ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We'll then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it. 
I'm sorry if I've given you sad thoughts with that remark, but it is a long while off. Until then, you should cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa. Hey, that thing you said, Theobald Lion Pants or something, is that Papa's real name? Theobald Leonhard, don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Theobald Leonhard, that's one pathetic name. <laughs> it is? Right, sorry to prattle on, you have our support. Papa, hmm? Does he make her call him father? No! He actually... <laughs> he actually dislikes it when we do that. So this is where you got to run. Ow. Oh, just a second. Ah. Leo! Had some good fun? Anything interesting? Ah, uh, well, I did this and this and this and this. Oh, I see. I'll make a note of this photo and the rest. I wonder if this will be enough. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey Leo. What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Uh... Money bee and woman. Correct. And I'm a woman. No, you're just a brat. So do you hate me? Yeah, hate your guts. <gasps> Idiot. If I hated you, I wouldn't be calling you around with me, would I? Oh, you lied about hating me, so that means you like me. I like you too. Well, that was a lie too. Which is it? The opposite of lying about a not lie, which is the anti-opposite of a fakely untrue lie. The opposite of a not lie, eh. We're going. <laughs> the opposite of a not lie, of a what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not following either. <laughs> All right, let's go interrogate someone who's definitely not suspicious. Hi. How are you doing on this fine evening? Uh, oh, excuse me, it's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I'd like to talk to some... Is now all right? Oh, yes, though my brain might be a bit slow, if you insist, detective. Detective? Leo's a scamp. Mmm... Good, now then. I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Oh, uh... Last night I was reading, and then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so... Uh, I heard a scream which woke me up, then I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. It would've been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after we take care of this. Hmm, he smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes and remember what you've heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you never progress from idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense! I'll do my best! <laughs> you never grow up if I tell you how to do everything. That's why! Now work! Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Let's see. Which one of these? The wolf is dangerous. Lie. Ouch! Oh, wow. That one actually does a lot of damage. Interesting. And the other one? I locked the front door. That's the truth. Probably. It's this one. I never went out at all. That's a lie. Yo, why is that one so strong? Jesus Christ. There we go. So, you did go outside. Last time your sister saw you leaving the house, Keith. You told me that your sister was a quiet type who rarely spoke, but she did talk to this girl here. I see. On top of that, it seems it was you who told her not to talk or go outside. In addition, not a single animal could be found around the whole town. So there's really no wolf, is there? So then why? Since it's dangerous outside, especially when strangers are in town. Haven't you seen someone attack yourself? I didn't want her to see that kind of thing, not to tell her about not to tell her about it. So about this vampire legend, you said you didn't know about it. But a book in the library had information about vampires. A diary, I suppose. The author seemed to be one G Rick Fire. A relative of yours, surely. And in this photo, in addition to Mr. Geo, 
There's you and your sister with your names written on the back as well. You also evidently told your sister there were no past records remaining. Yes, that is indeed my father's name. So, the legend. It's real, certainly. We are descendants of the vampire family. And? Shouldn't you be leaving this town quickly? Huh? What do you mean by... Because it's a dark night tonight. You don't have a good weapon right now? No, I have the legendary one on him. If he... Oh, what's happening? <gasps> Ooh, why are we bloody? Oh, Jesus Christ. Leo! He used the same things the informant girl had. Where did he go? I saw him go outside. He was really fast. I couldn't catch him. No, that's fine. We have to follow. The cops should be fine, but feathers might be in danger. Okay, he probably locked the door, though. Huh? The lock's busted. Seems sturdy. What the? Kind of feels like he's done this before, huh? Hey, let me know. Huh? That's my collar. The juice stuff was making it hard to see. Man, this is all sticky. Jeez. When we get to the next town, I'll buy you a new one. Okay. If the captains can meet up with feathers, that'll give me some relief, but I wonder if there's any other exits. A weapon is not armor. That's true. That is true. Armor wise, I guess I'm. Yeah, I only have to start the stuff. A book. It has a bookmark. What's he been reading? How to kill vampires? Drive a stake in the heart, cut off their head. I think that's the book Keith was reading. What's the meaning of this? Maybe there'd be something in his room too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A book, it has a bookmark. It's this one. It's a book about vampires too. Vampires are weak against sunlight. Is this true? Seems it hurts them a bunch. But hold on, when I first met him... What a liar we've got here, if my guess is right. Is his sister Rachel right? Ah, uh, well, he told her not to leave when strangers are around, so she's never left her room. I think I should ask her something. Okay, sure. I kind of thought we were able to get in here easily, though. Don't! You're gonna scare the heck out of Rachel! Rachel, hey, I wanna talk! No good. She asleep? There might not be much time. Hey? Eh? Overflowing with lies. Can't keep them under control anymore. A flood of lies. When you're driven by lies, things get annoying. If they're overflowing, you gotta get rid of them. I gotta eat them. Oh, hell yeah! Live up. Live up? Ow! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, how do I he myself? <laughs> Ah, with, with the cookies. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's get some health back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi. What do you mean I missed? Excuse me? Yes. Smack. All cleaned up. Hmm? What's this? A key for somewhere, I guess? And what rooms are locked? Hey Leo, you won't die on me, will you? What's this all of a sudden? If you did die, I... Listen, just shut up and follow behind me. That sounds oh, like a great idea, actually. As for the rest, I'll protect you. Uh oh. What was that? What was that sound? That one's a mess. Don't bother with that one. Try and avoid it. Okay. <gasps> eh! Eh! No! I want. <laughs> no, I wanted to avoid it! Uh... I wanted to dodge it! Help! 
I'm gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Ow! Ah! <laughs> tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. <laughs> That was. Oh, and we got two level ups. Nice. That wasn't so bad. We we're like ha, only half dead, and we don't have any SP anymore. But that wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Bye. It's unlocked. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm the pages torn out of that book. With each generation of vampire blood in our family is weakened, but there's a small chance of offspring being born with denser vampire blood. Control of their powers is unstable, and they may attack people without realizing. Existing with humans is a difficult prospect. Thus, since moving to this town, a rule has been established to do away with such children if one is born. Two children were born to us, and one of them was born with a higher concentration of vampire blood. Their powers have not awakened, but it can't be long until then, but I couldn't lay a hand on a child of mine. My wife, too, perished upon birthing the second child, so I don't want to lose any more. Tomorrow, I hold a discussion with the humans of the town. It's a dark night tonight. So one of them has awakened as a vampire, but the other's fine. And then only one of the siblings is a vampire. So one of them doesn't suck blood. On the other hand, one of them has to suck blood to live. And maybe they did by attacking all of the prior town's people and animals. <laughs> Captain Zordas, I'm here to save you. Huh? Where did you come from, mister? I'm a shadow dragon that allows me to generally ignore physical obstacles. A wise captain should be a girl in this mansion. Any idea about her? A girl. This is the last room I've checked and all i found is you two. <gasps> Rachel's not here? Where's the captain? He evacuated the informant and her assistant and went to patrol outside. Sounds dangerous. Hey, what were you mumbling on about? Get us outside quick. After that, I want you to go guard the informant. And what do your orders mean to me? Mr. Brad, please, just this once. You better catch him. Alright. Ooh, we're out. Listen, it's not like I'm lending you a hand. I'll go to the informant and check for the captain. <laughs> Thanks, you're a real help. It's a whole mess of truth and lies. A bunch of bad, hazy feelings. We gotta do something about this and quick. Yeah. Eh, no! Why is I don't want to fight the fake what? want to fight the big ones, right? How do I get him to come back to life? Oh, now he's one, uh, one HP, I see. <laughs> this is fine. Hi. The small ones I can fight, right? The small ones... Oops, the small ones don't actually... Bye. I can't eat the whole thing. You can't? Oh, 
Okay. So many cookies. Yeah. Um. Do you guys uh actually want to see the bad endings, or should we just go for it? Oh, she can't eat them. Because, like, there's a, there's a bad ending if we lose the boss fight, but you don't necessarily have to do it. Would you guys like to see it, or should I just fight it normally? it's funny that she can't actually eat them but we do get xp hi how are you welcome like if you were playing this on 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 steam you of this game has achievements yeah this i i think this bad ending is actually not that much bigger Content wise, I think it's also just okay, you died, that's it. Doing alright, just very smitty. <laughs> Mood. It's way too warm. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, we'll see. I, let's just go for the boss. Let's just do it. I don't think the bad endings actually do give us a lot. It's li like the only the only endings that actually give us anything are towards the end. Um, the true ending stuff, kind of. Hi. It's almost out of oil, but I can light it for a second. Oh! Captain, is he dead? Did someone die again? Look, he's. No, I don't, Mr. Captain. Eh? Oh, you look. <laughs> you look not good. <laughs> the sensation looks like I died. Morning, Captain. Blood wasn't sucked. Mm, they do say dragon blood doesn't taste very good. Good to know. Uh, Mr. Captain, are you a ghost, spirit, zombie? I'm an immortal dragon. I'm undead. Immortal. He can't die, this guy. Stab him, cook him, put him in a stew. Can't die? But he just revived, so I doubt he can do much. Yeah, you're right. The one who attacked me was that girl. I was caught completely unawares, then, well, as you see. After that, she ran further down, then suddenly collapsed. And then another one. Leave the rest to us. But we're the experts from here now, do you see? Let me rest here a bit. Anything happens, I'll be right there. Just gonna sleep. Still got the knife in him. Let's go, Ify. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's just go to sleep, okay? <laughs> Hi. Good to see you again. So you didn't leave town after all. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. No complaints if I kill you and suck your blood. First question: Are you a vampire? That's right. I am a vampire. Did you attack a woman last night? Yes, that was me. Enough lies. Keep it to that, please. I first met you in the morning with the sun still out. And I found the rest of the diary stored in that room behind the kitchen. According to that, only one sibling inherited the vampire blood. Lies? I'm not lying. It was me who attacked her last night and sucked her blood. You're gonna get swallowed up, kid. It was me who attacked the townspeople. And my own father. I did all of it. Rachel didn't do anything. Oh. Did you now? Ooh. Don't go answering questions I didn't even ask. You shouldn't lie so much if you're not used to it. Ify. No, it's too big. Too sad. I don't wanna. Then are you gonna wait for him to be swallowed up by lies? I don't want that either. It's what you have to do, and only you can do it. Because I'm a liar too. Eat it all up so he won't tell these lies anymore. 
I'll do it. Aww. The sprite looks cool though. Oh, 3000 XP. Uh, HP, I'm sorry. That's a bunch. Again. Ow. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> All of it for you. Oh, her horns came out. Rachel. I see. Father kept it a secret all along. Heh. Wow. I wonder if vampires can make do with animal blood. <laughs> because there's human blood in me too, of course. Rachel, did you attack someone last night? Last night, I was sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping, right? So right. Never mind then. I'm sure a wolf must have gotten into his home. You should be careful, Rachel. Brother, I'm sorry for strangling you. I felt strange all of a sudden. All the townspeople left after that incident as a fleeing. We found out all of the animals around town. My blood alone can't keep up. There's so little left. What should I do? People? Travelers? I nodded off at night. Rachel went outside. When I went out, I found Rachel asleep and the humans. How long did you know I'd been lying? Mm, around the time I lied about being a detective and questioned you. Plus, you have a habit of smiling when you die. Lie when you die. <laughs> you should be wary of habits like that. You know, I think I much prefer you acting natural like this. Eh, it wears me out. But all the pieces were in plain sight, did you? You're right, maybe I wanted someone to stop me. I knew it was all just selfishness. Both my father and I opposed that rule and couldn't lay a hand on Rachel. But when you look at this, I suppose there was a good reason for the rule. <laughs> Your sweet release. <laughs> I have to redeem myself somehow. The sound has become so empty. Well, anyway, you're still rather bloodstained. I could lend you some clothes if you like. No, we want to be out of here before those guys wake up. I went to help them and I got punched and Mr. Captain fainted. What the hell? Don't scare me. And is not Cookie Thing leaving mentioned a load of bull? What do you mean anyway? The world may never know. We should get go. Why are we covered in so much blood? Uh, I'm sleepy. We have to walk on all those roads again. If you don't like it, I'll leave you here. N no, I do like it. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. Hey, give me a piggyback ride. It is so sore. Rock, paper, scissors. If you win, then sure. <laughs> Got it. Here we go. Rock, paper. That is it. That is the first part of Lie Eat. Lie Eat 1. Lie, the Lie Eating Dragon and the... Hold on. I don't actually know what the full name is. Uh, Lie Eating Dragon and the Vermilion Vampire. The, the weird thing about Twitch is... Actually, there's a different category for all three of them. Even though they're all in one game anyway. It's like, yes, Lai Eat has three parts, but technically they're all in one anyway. <laughs> so I really don't see why they made it three different categories. But that's it. That is our first part. Thank you for playing. Anytime. Hey, where are we going next? Hmm, somewhere not too much of a walk would be nice. Somewhere with lots of fun and games. Or just somewhere cool. 
Hey Leo, when I get smarter, I'll eat your lies for you too. Maybe you should focus on learning to read first. Hehe. <laughs> what are you so happy about? Ah, she won! She won and got the piggyback ride. That's cute. Lie to be continued? Question mark. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, you can actually listen to music. You can actually listen to the songs. That's cool. And you can... Okay. Fun. That's fun. Okay. Ah, some more information. Leo, age 23, hate 170. Skills lying. Dis uh, likes beer money woman. Dislikes annoyances. A con artist. He tells lies like their breaths. He changes his appearance and name at each new town. Okay. Ifina, age 2 months. Appearance 4 years. Oh, okay. 96 centimeters. Oh god, you, you literally are, baby. Ability, eating lies. Likes papa and sweets. Dislikes reading. A dragon girl who feeds on lies. Energetic and inquisitive. She's not particularly smart. Keithrick fire. Age 18. Hate 167. Skills, cooking, cleaning. Likes family. Dislikes horror movies. A boy living in Vermilion Town. He lives a humble life with his little sister, Rachel. He has a habit of longing for the outside world. Rachel's only nine? Okay, not gonna lie, you cannot tell the ages of the characters in this game. Or how tall they're supposed to be. Rachel's only nine? I thought they were about the same age. Hate 134, skills running, likes family stuffed animals talking, dislikes thunder and scary people. A girl living in Vermilion Town is a descendant of a family of vampires at times she has her ancestors' tendencies. She loves to talk. Carol Delada. 26, 161, sending me this um, skills, martial arts, likes cute things, love berries, dislikes gross bugs, a head wearing informant, cute kids and love berries are her favorite things, if any sketchy fellas or bugs come along, she give them a whack. Wait, is Rachel taller than Moriko? I, how tall is Moriko? That depends on if you count her ears. If you count her ears, she's like 150 something, I think. If you don't count her ears, then maybe Rachel's actually taller, yeah? Ha! Nice. Rosalie Rosemary. 19, 158. Playing piano, likes fun things, just like studying. A woman formed with wings. Though the daughter of a well-known aristocrat, she didn't want to carry on a name, so she fled home with Levin. Oh. Levin Bloom, age 28, hates 172. Skills singing! Likes work money, dislikes late people, a butler who co accompanies Rosalie, he periodically reports to Rosalie's parents in secret about how she's doing, constantly getting pushed around. Neil Maysfield, age around 100, appearance around 30, hate 198, oh he's big, big. Ability immortality, likes the world, people drink, dislikes evil. <laughs> ha, ha. An immortal dragon, he serves as the captain of the police force, he's often taking a sweet time. Fred Graves, around 17, appearance about the same. Hate, 166, ability phasing through objects, likes dragons, reading, dislikes people. A young dragon of shadow, vice captain of the police force, kind to dragons but detests people, always on a ball when it's time to work. That song is making me anxious. There we go. Okay, so what do I do now? Oh, hold up. Are those CGs that are in the game? Did I just spoil myself on something that I haven't actually seen yet? Have you seen this? Yes. We have seen this one. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, maybe that 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 maybe we would have gotten that one uh, if we had done the bad ending. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. I see, so you actually get different CGs for the bad endings as well, okay. Okay, how do I... How do I... What's this? Oh, and the animated stuff as well, that's nice. How do I leave this place? 
by the using the door return to the title screen yes Ah, I see. Well then, time for lie eat too. Looks like she's a little older now, maybe. Or just has a different outfit, who knows. Once upon a time, there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares, so it lived off of the nightmares of the humans around it. But one day, the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then, it saw a girl having a wonderful, happy dream. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The end. Well, that's not a nice story, is it? What was I born for? Why can't I eat people's dreams? Is this okay? Is it okay to just eat them? Hmm? I better go to bed. Also, thank you for the hydrate time. Let's have a sip. A sip. A sip, sip, sip. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's a little big on me. Well, shouldn't matter. Hey, can you really just take those? That guy was just sleeping. Sure you can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all our money on your new clothes. Well, okay, but those clothes... Didn't they get really stinky when you fell in that horse stealth last town? Can't complain when it's on the house, hmm? A badge. What's that? These are what guards were. You're telling me that dumb looking Dofus was a guard? A guard for pleasure resort? Harold! Close, but no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold be my name here. Harold! The last begin. How works. That's probably easier for you to remember. Gotcha! That's also better for, uh, easier for me to actually say. Oh, look at her! She's adorable! One of them recognized me by face. I did try to mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in this resort. But any hitches and we're making our getaway, got it? What kind of place is it? It's got fun and games. Fun games? Hooray! Don't get too wild now. Ooh. But this looks nice. Hmm. Hi! Can I go in? Welcome to Azure Town. This is our prized resort, but only authorized personnel are allowed inside currently. So who are you? Name yourself. Yes, number 3055, Harold Radford, reporting for duty. Number 3055, Harold Radford. This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha! Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down death and made it out alive. But still no alcohol. That'll get you fired on the spot. Hmm? Who's that child? Ify, I'm Papa's. This is my little sister, Ifina. Aha, you don't look anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of these siblings now, should we? In what way do you not look alike? In what way? Is it alright if I ask you something? Certainly. Would it be possible for us to lodge a while at the resort? Mm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we left home without hesitation and now we're traveling to find mom. But we need money for that, so we just have to keep taking brief jobs like these. I see. It would be perhaps too costly to go to an inn in terms of both time and money. What a thoughtful youth. Personally, yes, I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, feel free to count on us. I'm the elder brother, Thom. I'm the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come to you. Thanks, guys. You're 18, Papa. 
No, oh, that's drinking age. Found the guy's age along with his bed. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. They're not dogs. They're humans. What? People used to have all kinds of categories and races depending on how you looked, but now we just call everybody humans. So what's different between these guys and dogs? People walk on two legs and talk. Anything's, anything else is an animal. About the only creatures that look human but aren't called it these days are dragons. I mean, sure, let's just call every... <laughs> okay, that's... Uh, yeah. What's different between dragons and humans? I guess the dragons can use magic and people can't. People can't eat lice or be mortal or pass through walls and floors. And a human head doesn't spit fire when they're half asleep. Let's look for the manager. Forgot to ask what they even look like, huh? True that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yo, we playing like it. Oh yeah, boy, we are. How are you doing tonight on this Hi. I'm gonna steal your money. There's a stash of money between the books. Snuck it into your clothes. <laughs> Thank you for the foster check. <clears throat> I'm gonna steal your money. I just on my extended drive since forever, but I never played. No. <laughs> um, I played it years ago, but this is the Switch port that came out like last week or something. The other stuff, right? Miva Shiva games are so good. It's great. I, it's it still as I remember except that now the the frame around it and, and the background is new because the original release only had you know a four to three dimension stuff so the inner part here oh do we have customers this isn't a place for games whoa look at the size of those pardon me <laughs> iffy <laughs> I'm Harold and we're walking here as a guard for a little while I was looking for someone, the manager. But you see, since I'm new, I'm not even sure what kind of person I'm looking for. How's that right? The manager's a woman with bandages around her face. I think you know her right away once you see her. I see. Thank you very much. I heard this new guy was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It's an honor to hear you say so, miss. <laughs> she went out a bit ago, so she might not be back quite yet. She's never gone long, or perhaps so perhaps you bump into her if you just walk around. I must mention we do get quite a few unruly guests, but good luck with the job. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, God. Just like... <laughs> it's so different from his personality. From his usual personality, how he talks right now. Okay. Um, I'm a bit confused. Where am I supposed to go? What's this one? Oh, is that a church? In a resort? That is closed. Aha, uh -huh, you want a Pikachu? Okay. <laughs> new comes into chat, new wants a Pikachu. Okay, you get Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu! Pika Pika! Pikachu! Eh, visitors? Still getting ready here. Sorry to interrupt, I'm Harold. I'll be walking here as a guard briefly. Harold. Oh, right, gotcha. I heard about you. If you want the manager, she should be back soon. What's this manager like? The manager looks real sour, but she's got a good ass and them legs. Whoa, another one. Didn't see you there, shorty. And I'm so sure surprised you see you've got a kid. You knew I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so true is I had his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe it'll be trouble. I know, I make a prank call. <laughs> you're just like Hal. Say what, Rund? How's this guy like me? Huh? You are? Hey, patch up guy. Let's do your three favorite things. Oh, the name's Lucas, and I guess I like beer, money, and women. See? The same. No way. This guy's a womanizer. Me? I'm what you call a gentleman. You call yourself a gentleman, bro. Nah. <laughs> Got the backwards boy? You're picking a fight. The 
exactly alike, mate, but maybe that doesn't mean they can get along. Hey, Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Oh well, given the job I do, I like seeing people be happy in fun-filled places like this. What the heck's that? You liked. Get on it, Runt. <laughs> Is there no bar for the characters' names? No. How would I ever know who that cute greenish one is? Wait, green? Best you, thank you. Who? Who? Gesundheit, thank you. <laughs> uh, green? You mean the one that's on screen right now with the orange hair? Or the other one? Enough of the run stuff, call me Ify, it's my name. Alright. Ow! The other one. Ah, oh, the other one is our main character. Who has a different name every time? <laughs> but right now his name is Hal. They're actually both kind of green. Yeah, it's because of the clothes they're wearing right now. <laughs> they stole those clothes from someone. So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them. You talk the lies, so they appeared as a monster. Um, so you actually hate seeing people happy? Hmm, I see. Not so much hate, I just don't care. I gotta admit, people's stories seem a bit more on the interesting side to me. What a weird though. Hey, look who's talking. I say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make equally happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it. Boy, you're weird. But when Hal gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously? Then you're a weirdo too. Oh, so we're all weirdos here. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! We're all weirdos. So, is the tiny one a dragon or something? Wow, correct! Yeah, well, we sort of got one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple of months ago. He eats dreams or something. Wow! Surprised me. <laughs> oh my god, why was that so loud? Jesus, thank you so much. Yo, new, I hope you enjoyed the, the emotes. Only dragons can do that kind of magic stuff, right? Ko has never seen it myself, and a magic says he's a human, not a dragon. A dream eating dragon. Ko's never got a new case for hauling a dragon around. Hey, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. I'm gonna take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. Hmm, gotcha. Oh dang, I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. Alright, be the guys. Man just gotta be back by now. Yeah, good luck. I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. <laughs> oh yeah, don't, those two are so similar. That's why they don't. Why they don't get along. Also, hi, Rip. Thank you for the hiding time and the posture check. Hold up. Oh my god, you guys. Thank you for the videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Let's... Maybe that intel that there was a dragon in town was right. Gathering info this time? Yep, info and dragon sells well. Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Yeah! That's got you so happy. One of the managers back, let's look around some more. Sure, let's do that. Hi! Um. Mmm! That looks like a woman with bandages around her head. What do you suppose I'm about to transform into? Penguin! A penguin! I see, indeed. It's a good. <laughs> it's a guess as good as any. You see that there's nothing up my sleeve? Three. Two. Wait, what? Are you really gonna turn to a penguin? I wanna be one too. One. Um, the answer was a sheep. Where did that woman... She vanished! Instantly! How? I was watching. What? Ta-da! So, are you a customer? No, surely not to be inside at this time. You're a trespasser. Ow! What? Miss? What? Why? A little girl. Ah, Thumb and Moss told me about you, so you're the little sister of the new guard. 
I beg for your life. Ah, no, I meant to say I've been most impolite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apologies, I used to be an executioner. I still have some habits. And you stuck me as exceptionally, expe exceptionally, exceptionally shady. So, are you hurt? No, it's fine. It's really my fault for making such an abrupt request. You mean lodging here? Oh, not at all. There are guest rooms on the second floor which you may use. We have spare rooms, so... Yes, you can certainly use the far room on the west side. Your main duties as a guard are to patrol the interior and prevent trouble between guests. But there are occasionally some rowdy, hot-blooded ones. Report those to me, please. Uh, so you can transform them? No, so that I can bring the whip down upon them. I'm really in your debt. Uh, should I introduce myself? I'm Sophia Joan... Jo jo Joan Lil... Jo jo I apologize. And to my right is... I'm William. You can call me Will. Will, are you a dragon? No, no, I have horns, yes, but they're sheep horns. Oh, so they're different. Well, I have other preparations to make, so if you excuse me. Bye bye. But, goodbye. Hey, Ron, if you straight up ask someone if they're a dragon, they won't just say yes. Why not? I keep telling you, dragons are rare creatures. Since they're rare, bad guys target them. That's why they usually hide it, you know? Oh my god! You guys want the Pikachu really badly today, do you? Don't you? Pikachu! Pika Pika! Pika! <laughs> the police guys can be more open about it because they're strong enough to protect themselves. Mm. But you never really stop me from telling people I'm a dragon, huh? I don't like this conversation. Let's find a room and rest. Hey, for real, tell me. No. 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 I, I am running away from talking. So, guest rooms, huh? It's for the greater good. I mean, that's what I have the redeem for. I've got work to do tonight, so I'm gonna rest some. If you don't bother anybody, you can wander around and have some fun. You're gonna work? Because I came here as the guard Harold, you see? I'm not pro at impersonation, but it's not hard if it's my first time meeting these guys. Don't tucker yourself out. You mean physically or in terms of lying? Mmm, both. Right, gotcha. If you leave the resort, don't head into town. Place is huge as hell. Oh, and here's your snack. Eat it when you get hungry. Yay! Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Do you have anything cool? What? I wanna play. Let's play! Pikachu Day keeps the sadness away. That is very true. Nah, I don't wanna expend my energy on you. Let's play! Not happening. Then give me something sweet to eat. I just did. Some more. More. Ahem. <laughs> just a little. Stop shouting. You're making my ears ring. Please. All right. Fine. Here. Now go play elsewhere. Ray. What? I'm not giving you any more. Here's some too, Hal. Sweet things make you happy. Sh sure. Thanks. Hehehe. <laughs> Even though this candy was mine to begin with. Listen, listen, it's 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 about the the gisha of giving back. I'm good at sneak attacks, but man-to-man -man combat not so much. But I'm sure to be fired if I pull that on a customer. Wish I could just act on instinct. Ugh, I'm already tired. This town's pretty huge and noisy too. My phone screen's cracked, so it's a little hard to read. They have phones in this fantasy world. They have phones! Mobile phones in this fantasy world. Is that the thing you used to talk to the other info guys? Yeah, Fedos told me to get one because letters are too slow. Oh, but don't go using this phone to call up the police or anything. If they found out it's mine, it might get a lot harder to do our business. What? what? They have phones! Take a rest. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Can we just do that? Oh, I guess we can just do that as long as we want. It doesn't actually do anything though. 
What's in the other rooms? Nothing. Just empty, empty, em empty guest rooms. Lots of books. Oh, lots of books. Okay. Wait, I didn't check. Wait, I didn't check our bookshelf. Maybe there's something in our bookshelf. Oh. Eh. As soon as I can actually reach it, one day, maybe. There's something here. Aha! Look at that. Equipment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, we're back to level one. Like, okay. Mm. Interesting. Lots of books. Okay, well. I do know where we have to check to get all the stuff, so... I shall not bother with the others big lion dragon aura oh, no one here I guess she left oh hi William oh, what is it I want to play let's play uh, let's play Sh sure okay you asked if I was a dragon before, right? Yeah. If I, you know, if I were a dragon, would you know why I was born? Or why dragons are born? Uh, I don't know. Even the dragons I know haven't told me that kind of stuff. Oh. Like me, I can eat lies, but even I don't know why I can. You eat lies? So you like me. You eat lies too, well? Well, not lies, something else. I can eat them because nothing else makes me full. But I don't know why I'm able to either. I don't know. That's okay. It might take a while, but you find out. Really? Papa's a big liar, but I won't lie to you. I'll try to find out too, so don't look sad. Okay, thanks. I'll do what I can too. It's something I don't know about myself after all. Wait, hey, Papa, do you mean a big man from earlier? If keep it secret I called him Papa, I'll get in trouble. Okay, it's safe with me. Sometimes I'll call me Sophia Mom too. Oh good, so it's not just me. You must really like your dad, huh? Yeah, I love him a lot. I can tell you have such a tasty smell. Eh? Um. Forget I said that. Hmm? Said what? Which thing? Nothing. I need to get ready, so I'll see you later. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Forgot I said that. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. Boom. Um, this one, I think. Hi. Oh, what's the matter? Those cards look fun. Oh, you like cards? Yeah, the fronts and backs are both really pretty. I see. Then let me show you a little trick. Ooh. I have four randomly drawn jacks, queens and kings. Pick any card you like. Oh, but don't tell me. Just pick one and remember it. Mm, I pick one. Right then. I'll flip them, flip them and collect them. Then I cast my spell and... Do you see the card you choose here? And don't lie to me. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm? It's gone. Then I succeeded. Huh? How? Did you know what I was thinking? It's a simple magic trick. Jacks, queens and kings are detailed but hard to tell apart. Most people will only look at the design in the suit so I switched them out entirely. Whichever card you pick it's completely different so your chosen card vanishes. Whoa, could I do that too? Yes, you ought to at least learn the switch out technique. Smarter people will notice right away though. Oh, ha, huh. then Hal will probably get it real quick. Oh man, I wanted to leave him speechless. Don't look so down. Here, take these. Oh, thanks. Don't mention it. What did I get? Did I get candy? Yeah! I guess. Looks like I got candy. Candy. Yo, are you walking? Or, or can I play with you? Hey, Missy, you wanna play with me? Not if you say it like that, though. <laughs> hey, what are we playing? 
You see, besides serving drinks, I do tricks here. Want to see me practice? Tricks? What are these? Playing cards. With just a deck of these, so, so you can play all sorts of games. Oh, it's got different pictures on each. Pretty. <laughs> Never seen anybody get so enthused over cards. Now pick one, anyone, just don't show it to me. And hey, write your name on it with this pen. Got it. Um, written. Good, keep it face down and put it in the pile. Other girl, now I shuffle. Oh, look at that, that's so, she's so cute. Ooh, speedy. Tell me to stop anytime. Mm, stop. Alrighty, so little miss, isn't this your card? the one success oh well, good job <laughs> it makes me smile to see you so glad about it well hey missy what's your name Ifina. and you spelled it wrong should be Ifina. you wrote Ifana. oh i thought i got it right just a little off you'll get it next time yeah all right i'll let you have this ace of hearts my dear Ifina. the pen you used was erasable so just rub it a little and it'll come off yay thanks mr lucas Hey, Mr. Lucas, are those stitchy scars from injuries? Eh, they're for style. Got real ones too, though. Oh, so... Hal, is he stylish too? Is it trendy? <laughs> he's got scars too? Yeah, he's got stitches around his belly button. Huh. Would you get hurt to get real scars, Mr. Lucas? Oh, my girlfriend's got... <laughs> my girlfriend stabbed me. <laughs> Eh? I tell you she acts so graceful, but she's got me in lockdown. Can't go chat with other women. Don't go up to be that kind of girl, Athena. I don't really get it, but got it. Gonna be night soon, customers coming. I recommend staying in your room then when they're here, not wandering around. Okay. Alright, see ya. <laughs> okay. Oh, huh? A lie. Who's... Like, I care, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna fill my tummy. Hell yeah. I don't... You don't what? Ow. Bitch. I hear a bunch of chattering, people coming, I guess. Mm, now what, I go back to Papa for now? No, you will not. Oh, a bunch of faceless people. I'm not drunk, that is... Yeah, sure you are. Try me. I am strong. Boom. Nice. I want to be strong. Oh. Hi. I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can I actually watch what you're doing? No, I can't attack with you, okay. That's fair. Could I have also catch you later, have a good stream? Okay, thank you so much for coming, have a good night. I'm a real hit with the ladies, I'm mm, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, all people are coming, bro. You gotta work. Work. You're supposed to work. Sorry, I'm off to work. What should I do? Hell have I know. Well, I guess it's pretty late. If you got done, you do just go to bed. Aw. Sleep. Okay. And don't accidentally lock the door to the room. I don't want to have to sleep in the hallway. Gonna go and look. We're gonna take a bath. Okay, have fun. Don't go swimming too far. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Should I just go to bed? Look at me. <laughs> Bedtime. Oh, my clothes. Ah, it's not that hot, so whatever. Good night, me. Good night. Mm. Up already. Yo. Yo, wait. Yo. Why am I up? Why am I up? It's the middle of the night. Apparently. Also, why do I hear water dripping? 
Why is there mice here? Hi. Now it's a red. Rats. Rats. Where the rats? Right. I want to fight you. Give me XP. Give me. Give me. <laughs> I want to fight you. Ah! I don't know how you actually get the fight going with these. I also don't know how it managed to do it with the moths. Oh, there we go. I guess suddenly it, it works. And then it just doesn't anymore. Okay. Okay, why do I hear weird water dripping? Oh, why is there so many mice here? What? Stay still? There's a stay still option? What would I need a stay still option for? So that red is going out of bounds. <laughs> oh! Hmm? Oh! Why is someone on the cross? Yeeha. Jesus time. Is that a dead guy? I gotta call someone. Is he dead? No, not dead. He's just knocked out. Make sure signs of a strangling. What now? Well, it's the dead of night. The mansion everyone's probably sleeping. Since he's not dead, don't really need to hurry to tell them anything. Really? Why not? If we leave him here, whoever crucified him might come back to finish him off. Guess we keep him in our room till morning. I carry him. Then grab his necktie. Okay. Sleepy. Let's find the manager and report this to her. Yo. She slept by him all night. Wake up. Mm, that's my cake. I don't know, Waker. Sounds like she's having a blast. Mm. Does it do anything else? No, I guess not. Okay. Um. Okay. Where's the manager? Yo, we found an almost dead guy uh, hanging out Jesus. Yes. Um, I want to talk. See, last night. I see it happened again. Again? Similar things have happened several times before, but the man does have a certain personality after all. One could call it karma. First things first, we ask him for details directly. Of course, Mr. Lucas is sleeping in my room. Understood. I'll go on ahead and wake Lucas up. Wait, that's Lucas? Oh, I didn't... Ah. I didn't actually notice that was Lucas. I was just like, hmm, it's just some random guy crucified. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait. Huh? Let's talk to Lucas first of all. Okay. Hey, morning. Good morning, Mr. Lucas. So do you know who put you up on the cross? Oh, I don't know about that. I can't remember. I just vaguely recall being strangled, maybe? As I thought. You did say this had happened before? Oh, Sophie dear, you told this punk about it? Lucas, must I remind you not to call me that? Oh, right, right. I know. I just let it slip. Don't get mad. Is this the third time being strangled and crucified? It's the fifth. See? Can't remember nothing. We're going to contact the police this time. Hey, now, Miss Manager, it's not like I'm hurt or nothing. No need to do that. You never contacted anyone about this before? Well, Lucas getting stabbed and strangled is almost an everyday occurrence. We were never particularly worried. But the same incident repeating is something new. And it'll be too late to look into once he's died from it. Don't talk like that. I'm right here, you know. Well then, I'll place the call. We'll be closing the resort for today. Take the day off. Maybe I should talk with him again. Yeah, sure. You sure can play the part of somebody you're not, huh? What? Oh! Think nothing of it, just found it funny. You don't remember a thing? All the times this has happened? 
Just like I told you, that part of my memory is just gone. Wonder who's the culprit. I wonder too. I got no ideas. Oh, actually, more like there's way too many candidates to narrow it down. I'm a real sinful guy. Then you ought to take the punishment. Don't go talking like Sophie now. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna get much useful info out of me. I've never been able to remember nothing all the other times. I see. What? Gonna say you're actually a detective or something now? There always has to be a lie in the situations. And that run here eats them. This will take a week tops. Oh, I see. I was wondering about that. Kid seems real fun of you, but how about you? If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't be leading her around everywhere. Hmm. What? Oh, it just looked like you were enjoying yourself. Oh, really? Still feel a little sluggish, so I'll be going to my room. I think you ought to take care of yourself a little more first. So long. Good luck! Okay. Let's make some notes. Oh, I left my mom back in my old clothes. Let's see, what can I write on? These tissues should do the job for now. Why? Why would you write on tissues? <laughs> You're gonna accidentally throw those away. Right, time to talk to the others. Sure. Sure, let's do that. What is it? We're closed for today, so you can head out into town to shop if you like. No, I'm fine. Actually, I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. About Lucas? Mm. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. He's always been this way. It's gotten him stabbed and whatnot too many times to count. Crucifixion, the crucifixion is too good for... <laughs> it's almost comical how beyond fixing he is. And there's a woman he's dating right now as well. Someone he's dating? Would that woman be... Our own employee, Olivia. The snake woman in the red dress, you know? The big breasted girl, huh? <laughs> um, are Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia getting on well? Well, Olivia's a jealous sort. She's displeased to see him with other women. So long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. But as far as I can remember, they haven't gotten in any especially big fights. I see. Thank you so much. I do hope this can all be resolved. I know. I'll do what I can to assist. I apologize for getting you involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. In a relationship with Olivia, it feels like I'm starting to see the crux of this. But there's still things I don't know. I'll ask her directly. Alright. Hmm, you think she's in her own room or is she in the... In this one. Well, it does not look like she's in here. Okay, well, there's only so many places she could be. Okay. She... Well, one of these has to be her room. That is not her room. This one. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That's where we first saw her. Why am I like this? Yes! Excuse me, I wanted to talk for a bit. Oh, now it's fine, if I can assist you any. Um, I was told that you and Mr. Lucas are dating. Is this true? My, so you've heard. Yes, it's true. I've been dating him for a few years now. Mr. Lucas is quite a womanizer, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. But I can't put too much blame on him. Because that's just part of who he is. Were you doing anything last night? No, as soon as work was done, I went straight to bed. At least I think so. It has me worried how everyone is saying they're missing memories. It's been happening often? Yes, especially recently. Even a few guests have said they've lost memories. When did this start? These things became quite frequent around the time that boy showed up. Though some customers have started coming explicitly to forget their troubles. Ah, I see. Is there anything else you want to ask? No, no, I'm fine for now. Oh, you can come back to ask anytime. Thank you. That's nice. This is starting to get kind of complicated. It would be really bad to have my own memories taken while I'm investigating. Damn it, I can just feel it. This is gonna be a pain. <laughs> it's gonna be a pain. Mm. It's morning. Papa's gone. I'll go look for him. Yep, you do that. Oh! Mr. Captain! Oh. Haven't seen you in a while, miss. So if Mr. Captain's here, where's the cops? No, no, different kind of case today. Different kind. We heard rumor there's a dragon here, so we come to check on that. Oh, so you're too busy to talk, I guess. 
Once I finished up, I'd gladly talk with you. All right. The manager here let us board a room next door for a short time. Brad's in a room now, so he might entertain you for a bit if you ask him. You're not taking Mr. Brad along with you? Well, there's a bit of a problem with that, but there won't be any brutal killers around this time, so he's just on standby. Hmm, I see. Now, if you'll excuse me. I guess if nobody's dead, then Papa must be okay. Okay then, time to play. <laughs> I love her priorities. Hi. How are you? Oh, it's you. Been a while. And morning. Oh, you look nice with your hair down. I want to talk. The captain says he's busy, so let's talk, Mr. Brett. Sure, I've already done all I can here. Why aren't you and Mr. Captain together? Couldn't I ask the same about you and Papa? I don't know where Papa is, but he's not dead, so it's okay. The manager of this place has a whip, doesn't she? If we were fighting together, we could cut it apart. But in any other situation, I'm still absolutely terrified of those things. You got bullied with whips? More or less. Papa bullies me by flicking my forehead, so I hate that. It's awful. He does that to you? Terrible. But someday I get stronger than the flicks and beat him for good. I bet you can beat whips too, Mr. Brad. I see. You may be right. I'll have to try harder. But you're already real strong. Those uh, misty things are like super overpowering. Oh, maybe it's hard to tell, but those are basically my wings and horns. Oh, oh, that's right. I should tell you I can put those out freely now. Oh? You can! That's nice. Already figured out how to use your power? That was fast. Yeah, but keeping them out wears me out real quick. Doesn't make you tired? You always got them out, right? I've always had them like this. It allows me to counter any attack right away. But I only keep them out because I can fully control my power. If your power is unstable, it's very dangerous to do so. It's dangerous? Yes, it's possible your powers can run amok. The boy who's accompanying the manager of this place. He might be dangerous. He's totally a dragon, right? But no wings! Maybe a lack of control over his power is causing only his horns to appear. Or maybe he's using his power unconsciously. It's not definite, but I do think he's a dragon. He was asleep when I visited, so I didn't get to ask him. Man, so many mysteries! Damn it, out of hell! Where did you learn that kind of language? Papa says that stuff all the time when he doesn't know something. Hmm, as I thought, he ought to be torn limb from limb. <laughs> Good to see you, Captain. It's a captain! The manager firmly insists that the boy is a human, and he didn't show any sign of waking. I withdrew for the time being. Is that so? Are you not busy anymore? I suppose I won't be until the boy wakes up. Ooh, I want to know some more. Should I talk to the captain? Yeah, sure. Of course. Talk to everyone. We're not getting anywhere if you can't talk with that boy. I wanna talk. You can talk to me. You may not talk to that boy, but you can talk to me. Can we talk right now? Yeah, that's fine. Mm, what should I ask? Oh yeah, Mr. Captain, how old are you guys? Our ages? I'm unsure, but I believe I've lived around 100 years. But it's lived for 10 or so. 17 years. Then dragons really don't change much, as they say. That's right, some dragons are roughly bread size when they're three. How old's Papa? When I first met him, he seemed about seven or eight. Now I would guess he's around 20, more or less. You met him that far back? Yes. He was part of a group of children about his age, living in the slums. He was sort of the boss of the group, and they were they did a thievery. Papa had friends? Yes, sometimes they would act as a collective, other times he would act alone. But some years later, the children vanished when an incident befell the town. Years after that, we found him all alone. Where did his friends go? We did find some of the children in far off towns, but one of, n one of them has never been seen since. They seem to be the weakest of the group, you see. So they may well have died when they were separated. I see. One of Papa's friends died. The strong eat the weak, it's just how it goes. Then I gotta be stronger. Heck, I'll get stronger than Papa and be the one protecting him. I like your determination. You have my support. Oh yeah, where did Papa go? I saw him in the hall downstairs earlier. Okay, thanks. Don't hurry too much. You'll trip and fall. I'm fine. I'm fine, she says, tripping over her feet. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see then. Faceless people. I don't care about the faceless people. Let's see, maybe William will talk to me. Hi. Oh, you're awake. You might not want to wander around too much today. Okay. Sleep. Okay, maybe not. And do you want to talk? Hi. Oh, so you're acting separate from him now. Do you know where Hal went? No, I'm afraid not. I was just talking to him though. I'm sure he must be around here somewhere. Uh, you know how. Oh wait. Wait, he's further down maybe. Oh wait, he... Huh? He's right there! <laughs> <laughs> huh. I was just about to go wake you up. Save me the trouble. I got up a while ago. I was talking with the captains. Oh, right. What are they doing here? Not a corpse in sight. They said they had business with a dragon kid. I wonder where they got that info from. I'd like to meet whatever informant they've got. Wanna go ask? No, not really. I'll look into it myself. Now let's move. First the boy William. We'll talk to him. He's up? Yeah, I heard them talking in the room earlier. Let's go. I was literally just there and he wasn't up, but okay. Sure. He is not here. God damn it. Aha! Good morning. I want to talk a little. Is that okay? Huh? huh? Um, yes. Can we go somewhere else? Where? The hall outside. Please. Wonder why? Guess we have to. I mean, sure. Hi. I don't think anyone will be listening here. Ask me anything. Will, are you a dragon? Hey. I don't know either. Miss Sophia tells people I'm a human though. Is she often worrying over you? Yeah, not just me. She worries for Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia and Thom and Mars. She's even concerned for customers she doesn't really know. And lately, she's been really worried about the incidents with Mr. Lucas. Do you think you're human? It's only supposed to be dragons who can do magic and stuff, right? And what magic is that? I can... I can eat dreams. Yeah, so you're like me. When you eat dreams, is there a monster of sorts that comes out for you to eat? No, not really. There's this cotton candy stuff that floats over people's heads. I just suck it up, then they forget all about that dream. If I stare at it, I can see what's in a dream too. So no monsters are go rampaging, huh? So I suppose you must be connected with the people here losing your memories, right? N no, I'm I'm not. I I'm usually with Miss Sophia and I'm always studying, so I hardly even move from... And these things were happening before I came. Will, you lied. We ask you again after this. If you clean up. Meal time! Hell yeah, boy. It happened before it came. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I haven't haven't put all the good equipment on, on Hal yet. I should do that before I forget. Ah, right, that doesn't work. I forget that doesn't work. All right. Might you like? Because I'm um, Miss Sophia. What about her? Uh, did you still want to ask something? No, that's fine, thanks. Okay, goodbye. There, he took him. A memories, but he calls it eating dreams, I guess. That settles it. Well, he's a memory eating dragon. He took our memories? How do you know that, Hal? I was taking notes while he wasn't looking, but now I have no memory of what I wrote here. Good, things I've been, good thing I've been taking these then. Let's talk to the manager next. Got it! I see! Hi! Yes. Would you mind talking to us for a bit? That's alright, I'll do what I can. I asked you this before, but why did you wait this long to contact the police? And this was the fifth time, if this has been that frequent. Lucas being stabbed or strangled or burned, it's all too common for the man. They are always minor injuries, so I couldn't be too worried. Next is about William. 
Miss, do you think he's a human, or do you think he's a dragon? Human, of course. He says he eats dreams, but he's a child. He's just playing around. William's a fine human. These monsters appear when people tell lies. Because I'm a dragon, and I eat lies. We ask you again after this. Yes. Yeah, you're not worried, right? He can eat dreams. No, that is very much the truth. He's a human. That I doubt. Ow, don't. Don't do that. That hurts. Mm, happens to him near daily. I, I guess. They're just minor injuries, I guess. <laughs> You're not worried. You definitely are. You're very worried about Mr. Lucas, aren't you? And you were reluctant to contact anyone because of William, yes? Correct. Why? Does it have to do with Will? Maybe you didn't know about the police shelter dragons? Whether those dragons are subject to unfair treatment or if the power is unstable and they can't control it. I found out that rumors were spreading about him. I thought if I called the police they would look into William. And I thought for sure they would take him away. I did do some research into dragons, but I haven't had the faintest idea where William's power is unstable lately. He's suffering so much, but in my ignorance I can't help him at all. I failed as a parent. And I was very worried about Lucas too. But he wasn't getting seriously hurt, so I didn't want to worry because of William. I need to protect them, but I can't protect anyone. I'm pathetic, this is all so shameful. I'll do what I can. Miss Sophia, maybe ignorance was a part of your actions. But there's no shame in it. You were doing everything you could do. So for William and for Mr. Lucas, I'll ensure this is resolved. Thank you so much. Also, can I ask you two more questions? Ask away. Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia, have they really never so much as fought? Not as far as I know. But my memories may not be accurate. Because w William may have eaten them. Although yes, I feel that more things have been being broken lately. And I don't know why that is. Have Miss Olivia and William been together more lately? Yes, they have. He's very often with Olivia when she's not working. Thank you for speaking with us, that'll be all. I hope you can help us. Can you really resolve this? Yeah, we should be close. Let's go to Olivia. Mm -hmm. Ah! You're both here. Oh, something happened. Do you mind if I talk to you for a moment? Yes, go ahead if I can be of help. I'll get right to the point. It's about this, well, about all of these incidents with Mr. Lucas. Are you the one responsible? Now why would you think that? Mr. Lucas loathes some womanizing as a parent, but Miss Olivia, I also hear that you're quite jealous. So I wondered if perhaps you strangled Mr. Lucas and put him on a cross every time. Even if you're right, what's the point without evidence? That's something I'm going to confirm now. Have you been getting along purely with Mr. Lucas, with constant fighting? I've told you this before, but while he's quite the arrogant playboy, I'm not dissatisfied we don't fight or anything. Because that's part of the man I adore. What are these? This girl here is basically a lie detector. Getting fed up with explaining, huh? huh? Mm, I see. I suppose I get it. We'll ask your explanation once these are cleaned up. Hell, I'm actually getting kinda full now. Well, they're not gonna go away any other way, so quit complaining. But like, I'm tired of the little ones. Just eat, I'll give you candy later. Woo! Okay, so which one of these is a lie? We don't fight. That's definitely the we don't fight card. She may very well like him, but they do definitely do fight. Ouch, okay, Jesus Christ. Yep, that was a lie. As I thought, you were fighting after all. The mention informed me that stuff was being broken for unknown reasons. Perhaps those reasons are unknown because you're using William to erase all memory of it. He's been with you often when he's not working with Miss Sophia or studying. But that's why I suspect you have an involvement in all this, Miss Olivia. I see. If I'm wrong, could you provide an alternate explanation? You want to know? Let's play a game. If you win, then fine. I'll tell you anything. Do I have your word? Yes, and look, none of those monsters, right? I'm telling the truth. What's the game? What's your experience with blackjack or poker? 
I've never played either. Then let's play memory. You must know how to play that, don't you? There are some special rules. We pick a value and whoever matches two of that value wins. I'll let you pick what value to match. Ace! Ace will be good. So the little lady says. What about you? Yes, Ace sounds fine. Let's have a practice round. I'll go first. Four and eight. No dice. Can I flip some? Go ahead. Yay! Two and two. Congratulations, but the rules are to match two aces, so sorry. Man. Ace and five. If you remember where that ace is, I'll remember it too if, I, if you can't. Look out for aces showing up anywhere else, then we can win. Okay, I'll try. And the gun goes bang bang bang. My, you teach the girl a rather, way, a rather odd way to count. Different ace from before. Uh, the last ace was here, I think. No, the ace is... Huh? What is it? Flip a card before we all die of old age. If you flip one at random. Wrong one! Then it's my turn. Ace of diamonds, ace of spades. I win. Got an idea of the game? Ready for the real match? Is it alright if we add some special rules of our own? True. It wouldn't be fair to give one of us the advantage. First, make it best of three. Whoever wins two matches is the overall winner. Second, after each turn, the cards in play should all be shuffled. Both sound fine to me. Let's add those rules. How about we have a game in the game room downstairs? Okay, that's fine. Oh, and one more thing. Can we have the match a little later tonight? Very well. Meet me there at seven. Yes, ma'am! He completely took our memories there. I had no idea where the ice was. Did you actually remember it in the first place? Hehehe. <laughs> well, what do we do? There's no way we can win against that. I've got an idea. Let's check out the place we're having the game. Oh? Okay. Sure. Mm, game room. It's made of clear glass. It's see-through. Pretty. Specifically made to prevent cheating. Hmm. There's enough space for a person to fit in there. Can we do something with that? Yeah, it's not cheating if there aren't any rules. We'll plan out a way to ensure we win two rounds. Let's get to our room. Okay, I have no clue how he wants to cheat with a, a transparent table, but okay. You wear a blanket over your head? Okay. Can you see my face with that on? Yep. Clearly, even the scar on the left cheek. Yeah, real clear. Hmm, dragons must have better vision than people. What's this for? It's a way to win one round, two if we're not caught. Hmm, that's not much of a guarantee, is it? Yeah, that's why I've got your precious a thumb card. That's an ace, right? Ah, uh, yeah, Mr. Lucas gave it to me. It's got my name, but he said I could rub it off. Good, now it's guaranteed. Listen, Afi, I'll explain what we're going to do tonight. I'll say three times top, so remember it. Okay. It's hot in this blanket. You can take it off now. <laughs> I see. Yeah, if we have an extra card we can just put in there, then we can definitely win. Almost time. We gotta go there, get there before them. I'm sleepy from waiting. Listen, the plan relies on you. We can't do it without you. Staying awake. Now let's go. Okay, let's, let's beat people who cheat by cheating at the card game. Sorry for the wait, hmm? Where's that girl? Oh, she went to the bathroom. It's not a problem to start without her, is it? I suppose not. Also, sorry, but the air conditioning is really cold. Do you have a blanket? Maya, you're right. Wait a moment. Is that sufficient? Sorry to trouble you. I think I'm fine now. Then let us begin. I went first before, so why don't you go? Okay. Seven and three. Nope. Two and king. Nope. Queen, ace. Ah, an ace. Alas. Ace. Here it comes. Your hand folded. I'll flip one in a second. Here. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. Matched. <laughs> Congratulations. But you mustn't cheat. What are you hiding under the blanket there? What do you mean? When you chose the ace, I saw it shake a little. That was no shiver. 
Were you hiding something in your cape that moved up to the front? Was that little shaking a tap on your foot to tell you where the ace was? You can tell me, Effie. You're so good, Miss Olivia. I worked so hard to learn how to signal it, too. <laughs> I'm very skilled at seeing through those tricks. But I'll let you have that victory. And since you won, you can go first again. Right. Ace. Five. I want to mix them up. Don't be so rough that they fly off the table. Aw, okay. My, two aces. I win. Ooh. One more round. Well, want to keep going? You can't pull your cheap trick anymore. That's fine. I'll play. This hasn't been settled yet. I go first, of course. Nope. Nope. Ace and king. Ace. Ace of diamonds, ace of hearts. Match. Congratulations. As I promised, you may ask me anything. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! So, about me and Lucas. Yes. Well, it's true. We've been fighting constantly as of late. Because Lucas keeps talking with and touching other women despite having me. He can't exactly be mine alone anymore. Don't you find it terrible? Yelling at him does no good, so I did those things to him so his body might learn. Though he's had plenty of trouble with other women still. Now, if the manager found out about us fighting, she'd know it was me right away, yes? The side William helped me to cleanly erase that. Another expression of my love. You got a problem with it? Ify, this is the kind of girl who shackles guys and throws away the key. Don't grow up to be like her, right? But I don't know how to shackle or not shackle nobody. <laughs> Any other questions? Feel like turning yourself in? Why? Am I doing anything wrong? I think I know what'll happen if I tell the police what you just told me. Sure, yes, I suppose. But the last match, when you shuffled the cards at the start of the turn, you casually slid in an ace of hearts, didn't you? I've got a good eye for this, you know. And the card placements, I knew all of them from the start. What I told William to erase was the location of another ace, so you retained the memory of the ace you brought in. Shame on you. One wasn't at that cheating be exposed, no matter what the variety. By the way... I didn't promise I'd let you go unharmed. Ooh, there it is. That's not nice. Ow. Iffy. Uh, feels like I sprained something. But I guess dragon should be fine after a fall like that. Can we get out of here? This reeks. Gotta hurry out of here. Is this a trash? It's a trash pile. Okay. A bunch of trash. Yay. Hi. Not getting up too soon. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Nice. Candy. Not opening. Lies are flooding in. Weird, I wouldn't think she'd be that lost in lies, so who? Oh, I messed up, I get it. Not much time then, gotta get Effie up. Hi. Ow! Stop slapping her away, Jesus Christ! Mm. Get up, run, food. Hmm? But it's just eight. That was yesterday. Come on, you gotta be getting hungry. Mm, I guess, if you say so. Good, then get to it. What are you staring at? <sighs> you kind of stink. Shut up, damn it. A little better now. Nah, you still smell just normal like. What if I told you I don't smell? You don't smell. Good, now clean this up. Alright. Let's fight some lies. Ugh. Oh, I should hear myself. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should heal him. For good measure. <laughs> Hi. Ah. Ah. Try me. 
That's the end of them. But they keep flooding out, gotta eat the sauce. Is it somebody taking over with lies again? Yeah, it is. Why does everybody lie? It's so exhausting. It's humans for you. Don't bother yourself with it. But you can lie if you get taken over by them. Since you're a liar, Hull, sometimes I wonder if somebody you die from it. Since I can't tell what your lies are and can't eat them from you. So that's what you've been thinking about now. Listen, I don't tell lies. Even if I was lying, I'm just a liar, not a liar. Or whatever. They don't own me. Just don't worry about it. I can I can take care of myself. And I'll protect you too, so don't waste your time with that nonsense. Here they come again. Can't be sticking around here any longer. Time to clean up. Alright. Stinky. Stinky. I mean, the one who's lying all the time has got to be William, right? No answer to them. How? Oh, yeah, what? Um, I had to start about seven times back. I'm the, in the one with the vampires. Are these your lies, Hull? Why do you say that? There were more jumbled before, so I couldn't tell, but not so much this time. And they taste a little different from the others. Huh, so you can already tell. So? Does this have to do with the friend you lost when you were little? Who told you that? The captain. What a blabber mouth. Yeah, a lot happened. But it's all in the past. It's done and finished. And? And I'm sorry if I couldn't uh, protect them. What the? That doesn't sound like you at all. Probably because I'm busy making people sad and mad. That's okay. That's okay. I protect you no matter what. I beat up all the lies. You don't beat them, you eat them. The, the only difference between beating and eating is a bee. <laughs> and you ought to be able to protect yourself before you spout a line like that. If you can't protect yourself, you can't protect anybody. Can't you protect each other? Hal protects me and I protect Hal. Or does that not work? You little. Ah, oh, fine if you say so. Yeah! You seriously are, weirdo. Get your hands off me, you're gonna stink. That's okay, you stink, yeah. Really? Hi! Hey, you sure you can just bust down the door, flashy? Hey, it's an emergency. I got permissions from the captain and the manager. What happened? Is a lie on the loose? No, well, maybe. The dragon child is running, Armok. Well? Sorry, but I don't know how to stop a wild dragon. That's what we're here for, but this one seems to be protected by lies. Our attacks can hit them. They are ineffective against lies. Huh, is that how it works? Never noticed since we're the only ones to ever try. The more you know, is that more info to sell? We can't sell it till we find out why people can hit a moron. Look, this is no time to chat. Yeah, the kid's running around rampant now. It's not too bad, luckily he's still in there somewhere. Got it. But it's another big liar. If we don't beat them first, the dragon kid's lies are just gonna come back. So let us focus on that first. Right, that's that the captain. We're watching him in our room, so when you're done, come quickly too. Boy, you reek. Oh, shut up. I'm going ahead. Hey, can that guy go through walls? We should just have just carried us like before. Maybe he doesn't like you. Maybe he just doesn't want to touch you so he would stink. <laughs> really hurts to hear you say it so bluntly. Let's go. This lies all around. Watch out for the goopier ones. We ought to avoid them if possible. Right. Sure. Let's go. Oh god. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Who is this? Eat and find out. Let's go. There's one more, so let's wrap it up quick. Oh, we have two big liars, huh? easy um, I'm gonna chew really slow and careful don't bother with that unless you're short of money and food got it hi mr. Lucas you okay it's okay so look so you were lying you remembered who was strangling you and crucifying you all along why do you think that is well Olivia did it as a punishment for your womanizing so if your memory of it were erased, there'd be no point. It'd just repeat itself. 
and you really overstress the point of not remembering. But if you led me to think the victim had no reason to lie, so I overlooked you. Hmm, want me to praise you as an expert now? Yeah, I remembered. I sowed the seeds, now I gotta reap them. I was stopping Sophie from calling the police, but this time she got through. And there's William too. We were trying to figure out what to do, then this happened. Listen, Lucas, kindness made from lies can't protect you or anybody. Sure, it's gonna take time to get out of your stupid-ass contrarian habits, but just stop lying. Be able to protect one woman before you reach for another. Um, you sure you should tell him that? You can't just tell a liar to stop lying. But thanks, I feel kinda relieved. I'll be sure to talk with Sophie tomorrow. And I gotta apologize for getting William into this mess. Oh yeah, the dragon's kid... The dragon kid's in a bad way too. Wait, for real? I gotta... Uh, take it easy, we'll handle the rest. Go back to your room and rest for the day. Damn it. Alright, you better have this. Let's go. This is the last one, so keep at it. I will! Let's go! Meow. Wait, they're keeping him in, in their room, right? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I should probably save, just to make sure. Mmm. Yeah. Hi! Finished your other business? Yeah, it's done. I see. Sorry to run you through the gauntlet, but help us out here too. Thankfully, his wings and horns help him evade deadly attacks. He's still young, so if you hurt him too much, he might die. Right, got it. Once the lives are cleared up, will you restrain him? Please? Sure. Yeah. Me, baby! Oh, oh! He has nice wings, though. He's not completely gone yet. Gotta hurry. Yeah, let's make this the end. Oh, dream eating dragon. Yes, thank you, Duolingo. I'm aware. Hold up. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Let's see how much damage we do. Ow! Ow! We don't actually need all of those SP attacks. Smack! Alright, they're off. Go ahead. Thanks! This will be quick since it's not too severe. Oh. How are you feeling? Uh. William. Miss Sophia. S sorry. I'm sorry. Will ran. What now? Let's go check on him. Oh. God damn it. Stop running. Listen, we're trying to save you. William. Miss Sophia, I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. Because of the job I had, I was always tormented by bad dreams. <sighs> Why am I stuck again? I tried to put my feelings aside, but I'm human after all. Then one day, William, you act appeared, and you said you could eat dreams. I, I know in that moment, I said I wanted you to erase the source of all those dreams, yes? Yeah, that's right. You looked so hurt, so I ate them all. Then it seemed like you could sleep well, so I, I thought I'd done good. And there we go. So when customers here had bad dreams too, I secretly ate them. But if I had good dreams, it, may, it would make people unhappy. I saw it in a storybook. Soon I thought I had to eat all the bad dreams, so then... Aww. I'm sorry I pushed all, this all on you. We can erase bad dreams. If we don't carry them, we can't go stronger. From now on, I won't run away. So I can protect everyone. You don't need to push yourself anymore. M Miss Sophia. I re really sorry. Oh. So when this manager made a wish, Will's egg showed up? Yes, that's right. It was a desperate time. I had a very strong wish. Personally, I wonder if dragons are gifts from God to grant such wish such wishes. Aha! I'm glad stuff got settled. Ah, it's getting pretty late. Let's rest for today. Thank you for everything. No, thank you. Dragons are born from people's thoughts and wishes. Good night. I'm sorry I troubled you. Night, Will. Night, Miss Sophia.
Maybe they are. Sleepy. Last night was way too noisy. Are we leaving town? Well, we did what we came for. We checked up on the dragon. And there's nothing more troublesome than dealing with quarreling couples. Did you get any info? Yeah, enough. We should say goodbye to the manager before we go. Okay. You know, this resort is really big, but for some reason you don't ever actually go anywhere at all. <laughs> Yo, retiring earlier than planned, eh? Nothing good happens when you're in wolf them finding. Maybe you should live with the blindfold on for a while. Man, you're a mean guy. Well, if you ever come to town, be sure to show yourself. Your drinks will be on the house. Oh, that's nice. I truly must thank you for what you've done. It just pains me to see you off without proper thank thank thanks. Thanks. No, you've helped a lot. I spoke with the police, they say William can stay here. But as I've told you, my knowledge of dragons is rather meager. So if you ever come again, I would appreciate it if you could pass along any info. I'll ask for money to tell anybody anything, so just get so yeah, yeah, I suggest giving up. Then I will just have to make you something tasty. Woo, let's come back. I try hard to protect what's important to me. It just took me too long to notice what that was. Maybe it's true that the most important things are the hardest to notice. What do you feel is important? Miss Sophia and the others, living the way I do. Well, those are all things you can see. It just differs between people how important some things are. No real big difference between visible and invisible. But the more visible and close something is, the harder it is to notice its value. I see. Then I have to pay more attention to my surroundings. Caused you a lot of trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you better grow out of your habits quick. Sure, sure, afraid it might be incurable though. Then you may as well be sure about it instead of secret. Hard to know what's in plain sight, you know? Oh, stop it. If I did that, my head could kiss my neck goodbye. From now on, if this man gets any funny ideas, I'm going to promptly punish him for his indecency. Sounds good. Maybe you get fixed up quicker than expected. Yeah, if I survive. Well then, we'll be taking our leave. Will you come back to visit? Yeah, this isn't bye-bye. It's see you later. Yeah, see you. <laughs> we have to see you again. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much for the hybrid time, by the way. Mm -hmm. ah, this is it for part two. Which means I definitely misjudge how long it would take me to play this, ga this game. Uh, thank you for the posture check. Um, <laughs> because actually, when I originally played this game on my own, it took me like not even a full two hours. So I thought, oh man, if I do it on stream and check out everything, it's still not gonna be that long. But it is. <laughs> it is a, quite a little longer than I thought it was. Which is not bad. We'll just. I, I guess we'll just finish it on Friday, you know? Is it true dragons are born from people's wishes and thoughts? Eh, sounds more plausible than any other idea I've heard. So what's your wish, Leo? Don't know. Ah, the face just now, you totally know. Hey, mind if we stop by a grave if it's on the way? It might be yours. Oh, alright, alright, don't walk so fast. Aww. I love the art so much. It's so cute. Light. To be continued. It's definitely to be continued. There's another one in here. Mm. Mm. Let's just play this one. I fucked it up. No! This one. And now for the... Well, this is still the same. Tom! Age 28. Hate 178. Skills way living. Dis likes me. Dislikes using his head. The elder of the wolf twins guards the resort's entrance. Turns human on full moons. A shouty muzzle man. <laughs> I see. 
Mars, age 28. Skills, mental math, likes math, and fishing dislikes noise. The younger of the wolf twins guards the resort's entrance, turns human, and full moon's always calm and composed. Olivia, 26, 162. Skills, card, magic tricks, likes Lucas and T, dislikes frogs. A work at the resort, currently hands the casino. Once she falls for someone, she gets painfully attached. Lucas Balliol, age 24, hate 100, 172. Skills trickery, likes beer money woman, dislikes restraints. A stitched up resort employee, currently hands the board. The stitches are for style, but some of them are real. Sophia, jo oh, Sophia is not that old. Interesting. 25, uh, 165. Skills, magic tricks, likes children, dislikes alcohol. The manager of the resort, she does magic in a grand hall, used to be an executioner. William, age 4 months, appearance 4 years, hate 92 centimeters, ability eating memories, likes employees and guests, dislikes talking to strangers, a memory eating dragon boy, helps Sophia with her magic tricks, though a dragon, he has sheep like horns and angel angelic wings. Neil Macefield, age around 100, appearance, wait no that's still the same, we know those two are already. He's often taking a sweet time. A young dragon of shadow, vice captain of police, was kind to dragons, but he tests people. Recently, he started going on his hair. Oh, wait. Okay, that changed. That's changed. That's new. He recently, he started growing on his hair. <laughs> He's often taking a sweet time. That's new. I see. Are there any pictures we have missed from any bad endings we could have done but did not do? No? Oh, yeah, there's this one. Just a to be continued thing though. Okay. Interesting game, definitely. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I mean, there is an overarching plot here somewhere. I, I actually do not remember it, so it's... It is kind of blind. <laughs> to an extent we are playing this blind because I do not at all remember the overarching plot behind this but like I said I guess I definitely misjudged the time it would take us to play the game so I'm gonna end this here and we will we do the third one on well Sunday no, not Sunday what on Friday sorry excuse me on Friday and once we finish that we'll go continue on with Goose Game Untitled Goose Game, because I finally want to play that game as well. I've had it for a while, but I've not yet gotten around to actually playing it myself. And it always looks so fun when I see other people play it. <laughs> so I wanted to do that on Friday, so we could just have a fun time. For now though, for now. Who do I send you guys to? Who's playing stuff? Ah, uh, what a new fantasy star online thingy is out, but I don't actually know anything about fantasy star. It's, it looks interesting though. Who do I send you guys to? Mm. Hmm. Everyone's playing games I, I don't know anything about. <laughs> I cannot send you to anyone. I don't know what all what everyone's doing. Damn. Damn, that's hard. Ah. Uh. Oh, Resident Evil. Maybe take the opportunity to check out new games. True, but like... All of these do not tell me anything. <laughs> you know what? Actually, uh, because I have actually... A Resident Evil Village is one of the first Resident Evils I've ever checked out. Like, I won't play it myself. Never. Never. That's not really my thing. But I'm watching someone else play it. Mm. So I think I'm gonna send you guys over to someone who's playing Resident Evil. Because Nama is currently playing it. 
I mean, and who who doesn't like a little horror, right? Who doesn't like a little horror on a uh, what what's today? What what's today's day? Oh no, a nice Wednesday evening, right? <laughs> who doesn't like some good horror on a Wednesday evening? All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold up, here we go. Here we go. Let me. Was a nice stream. Good night. Thank you so much for coming as always. Hold on. You're so quick. I'm not that quick. Um, here's the raid message. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming. Let me just switch screen quickly. To this one. And then let me put on the ending song. Here we go. Wow, that is loud. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming as always. I'll see you on Friday. On Friday for one more kind of regular stream. We finish off this game. Um, and then check out Goose Game. And then on Saturday is a big day where we'll play horror games and cry pathetically. Because I'm not good at horror games. Ha ha ha. Well thank you so much for coming tonight. I wish you all a very good night. I keep saying the same things again. <laughs> good night. Sleep tight. And bye-bye.